All right, we're excited about this new product, folks. We have a ambidextrous QD or quick detach push pin system that replaces your original push pins on your roller lock firearm. Large for their stock, small for their, for their forearm. And what it does is it replaces the original push pins and gives you a QD mounting solution for either a two point or a single point sling system. Uh, very easy to install. All you're doing is you're simply replacing the, the push pins with these larger small push pins and it'll allow you to convert your, your push pin locations to a QD sling position. And how that works is it's got a cup on this side, the QD cup on here, and it allows you to add the QD function to your sling, uh, your sling points on these ambi sling pins. Uh, but we're excited to offer these. These are found at hkparts.net. They are made out of hot, CNC machined stainless steel and they're built for a lifetime of use. They've got a locking feature on the back of the, of the locking nut here that screws down the locking nut so that the locking nut doesn't come loose. That's one of the things that HK's Ambi sling pins had issues with is these locking nuts would eventually just fall off and get lost. And we've made a locking nut that has a locking feature here. So you can lock the locking nut on so these don't back off and fall off. So this, once these are installed properly, you don't have to worry about them falling off as easily as, as, uh, as some of the other features or some of the other HK offerings that were out there in, in the past. But these are available at hkparts.net and we have them both for the small and the large and they will replace your existing push pins and give you a QD attachment point on your firearm. Okay, so we're going to go over the install, or the, the simple installation of the small QD sling pin that replaces the small push pins that are found on the forearms of all roller locks, like the MP5 and the, the HK91, G3, PTR, HK33. Any of the small push pins, this sling pin will replace it. It's really simple. The push pins are easy because they just, they just simply push out. So if you push the push pin, the push pin will pull out. Just remove that and set that aside for now. You can take your small push pin, unscrew it, the nut that's on it, set that aside for a moment, and then decide whether you're going to run it on the left side of the firearm or you're going to run it on the right side of the firearm, depending on where you want your sling to reside. If you want it on this side, install it on this side. If you want the sling to be on your left side, simply slide it over to the left side just like this. And then for the purposes of the video, I have a feeling that most people probably install it this way anyways. Uh, just simply slide that through, make sure it's seated. Slide this over. Take your nut. Thread it on. Make sure it's nice and snug. Once you get it nice and snug and, and where you want it, you'll notice that on the nut itself, there is a locking nut on the locking nut. And what this does is this allows you to lock this down so that you don't have the problem that, like the, that, that's found on the HK design where these will work themselves loose and fall off. This is a very robust, long-term solution that will give you years of enjoyment and years of use. Once you have this locked down, then you now have a position so that you can attach a QD attachment as you can see with this, this sling system. And that'll give you the first position for this sling mounting option. All right, so we're going to go over the installation of the QD, the large QD pushpin that replaces the original pushpin found on your HK roller lock type firearm, such as an HK91 or a PTR, an MP5, an HK93, a C308 even for that matter. Uh, this is a way so that you can add a QD sling pin option for a single point or for a two point sling it'll give you the option of adding a QD sling point to your roller lock firearm, which is pretty neat. Uh, it's really easy to install. All you have to do is just pop the push pin out, which we'll do here. Just push the push pin out, push pin will fall out. Remove that from your firearm, set that aside. And then decide whether you want the QD on either the left or you want it on the right side of the firearm. So either on this side or this side. Just decide which way you want to do it. Most people will run it on the left side because most people are right-handed and they will run their slings on the left side of the firearm. 
But once you decide for this purposes of this video, we'll, we'll show it installed on the right side. Just drop it in, uh, install it into whatever push pin hole you have on, on the back of your firearm. And then once you get that done, you can take the, the locking nut, screw that on, just like so, if I get it started, there you go. Screw that down all the way so it's nice and tight, nice and snug. And then on the actual locking nut itself, you may not be able to see that very well in the video, but there's a little screw within the locking nut itself. And what that does is that allows you to tighten the locking nut down so that this doesn't come off or become loose or fall off. Once you get that on there, lock that down nice and snug. And once you get done doing that, you will now effectively have a sling point for a QD attachment. So you can put a single point or double point sling or two point sling on your firearm. Again, this is a product that's available at hkparts.net. You know, with anything that you need for your h &K firearm or rotor lock firearm, you can get it at hkparts.net. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Share it with your, your shooting buddies. Uh, share it with anybody you know that has a, a, any type of HK firearm. And we appreciate and are grateful for all your patronage and your business through the years. And thank you for viewing the video.